perfect situation right here. I'm going to give you three reasons why I love curl mix. Reason number one. It allows me to see my natural curl pattern representing for the 4B, 4C community. And it's just nice. I've never seen it until like three weeks ago, literally, when I started using curl mix. Reason number two, I love the videos that you guys put online to help us curl mix community use the products that you have. Like the whole finger combing through method and in the shower, brilliant. I can get it done while he's taking a nap. This was done today. This is day one. I did everything. Wash, condition, comb through, moisture, and flaxseed gel while he was napping. So those are my top three reasons why I love curl mix and enjoy the curl mix challenge. My first challenge, yay! And he likes my hair too. to wash and go Wednesday and now I know you were expecting Kim to come on here with like some fly afro or in something like that but you got me I am back I appreciated all the love when I was gone um, shout out to all my favorite curl mixers who were missing me Deb Sam welcome to wash and go Wednesday awesome and then let's go ahead and just jump right into it it is another wash and go Wednesday and like every wash and go Wednesday we are here to show you how to get the best wash and go ever using our all natural ingredients um, and also we have a couple very special guests here with us first and foremost we have our amazing stylist extraordinaire Andra Renee you can follow her on Instagram at curl cousin sorry hair cousin all right and then of course we have our lovely model Miss Jamila who will be demonstrating her amazing short naturally curly hair for all those people who have just been bugging us and bugging us to get someone in there with shorter hair and we need representation we got y'all it is here all right so hey deb hey stephanie hey yolanda we got the whole crew here everybody is back and like every wash and go wednesday there are a couple great things you need to know uh number one from now now until midnight i'm telling you at midnight we will cut this off you can save 20% off your entire order on curlmix.com. That's 20% off. That's the biggest deal we do outside of Black Friday. So do not miss it. Use that code in the description. That is WGWSEP25. That stands for Washington Go Wednesday, September 25. You can use that code from now until midnight. Share it with your friends and make sure you claim your curl mix. And also tonight, we'll be doing something very special because we'll be doing hundreds and hundreds of dollars in free giveaways for all those people who are joining us like Janine and Charmaine and Angel I'm so glad you guys are here um, tonight we'll be using our lavender wash and go system so for you guys that don't know our lavender wash and go system is the most popular system on our website and it features step one through four that's shampoo conditioner moisturizer and gel using organic jojoba oil and it is perfect for those of you who need that extra moisture so we'll be giving away a few of those systems throughout the night so make sure you're participating 
in all of our giveaways. Make sure you're sharing the live and tagging your friends. And you know what? We're just going to go ahead and get started with, the wash, with our wash and go for the evening. So without further ado, Andrea is going to start on our phase one, which is, of course, adding that water and shampooing. Because the most important part of wash and go is water. And then the first step is always going to be cleansing, cleansing off all that buildup, any dead skin, any dirt, oil, pollution, all that stuff has to come off the hair before you can start styling. First giveaway as soon as they get started. So if you guys want to win free curl mix products, I need you to do a couple things for me. Let me explain the ground rules and we'll set the stage. The first thing you need to do, like every Wash and Go Wednesday, is to share the live. So go ahead right up there in the top, hit that share button, share the live. That makes you eligible for all of our giveaways tonight. And then the very first giveaway will be really, really easy. If you want to win that four-step system featuring our organic jojoba oil and our lavender fragrance, all you have to do is tag three friends. Tag three friends and then you'll be eligible. And I'll just pick somebody I see on the screen. Yes. Uh, hey, Karen, Tess, Tim is back. I'm back. I'll be here all night. And for those of you who were wondering, Kim is actually in the chat, too, but she's not here. And that's because Kim is speaking at one of the largest entrepreneur conferences uh, in America right now. She's one of the featured, um, featured speakers along with our marketing manager. Um, so they are having a blast over in Boston. Um, and she'll be checking in with you guys throughout the evening. But if you're just joining us, welcome to Wash and Go Wednesday. If you're watching this thing on replay, let us know. Just say, write replay over in the comments. And then also tell us where you're checking in from. And I'm going to give you a quick shout out if I can see it. All right. And I'm going to put this down. And we're going to check in with Andra and see what is going on. So in the first phase, in that condition, that, sorry, that cleansing phase, what are you hoping to do when it comes to specifically short, naturally curly hair? Mm -hmm. So short curly hair, uh, a lot of the differences come when we get to the styling portion. So as far as cleansing is concerned, we're following a lot of the same steps that we follow generally, which is to saturate the hair completely with water. Um, and you want to do that as long as you need to. And so if your hair is a type that gets wet and then kind of pops back up, you can go ahead and add more water if you need to. And once we get that fully saturated, that'll give us the canvas we need to get our cleanser in there and fully distribute it throughout the hair. All right, thank you so much. And, and now there's something that I've always thought about, especially, you know, since I have very short, naturally <laughs> curly hair as well, um, is that I tend to have to kind of wash my hair more than one time per week because mm -hmm. um, it starts to feel dirty sooner. Is that like a thing or am I just um, paranoid? So it could be some paranoia involved, <laughs> but depending on what your lifestyle is like will determine how often you need to cleanse. Our model here, Jamila, works out, and so she is sweating a lot, and that is um, making her hair break its set. It's changing the set that she does. So she'll do it on Sunday, and then if she's working out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday, she's going to have to go back in and cleanse and restyle it if she wants it to have a fresher look. And so that's just one of those things that if you work out, if you have a job that's particularly dirty, if you are um, riding public transportation, all types of things that can affect how often you need to cleanse. So it's not necessarily shorter hair only. All right, you know what I really think my thing is? I'm dealing with Zuri at home, two years old. Every now and again, like, there's going to be something crazy that gets into my head because his hands are all, like, perpetually dirty. Uh, like just last night, he was biting me in the head and like pulling out <laughs> chunks of hair. And I just had to like cut that out really fast. But <laughs> stuff like that is what I have to deal with. Uh, I'm single dadding it up with Kim being in Boston. Uh, so it's been, <laughs> it's been a whole lot of fun. All right, and I'm gonna shout out a couple of my faves here. Letitia is in the house. Hey, Jabrina. All right, and then remember, if you wanna win this first giveaway, make sure you are tagging three friends and then share that live that'll get you eligible and I'm gonna as soon as I start seeing a couple people enter um, I'll go ahead and announce the winner All right, but we are doing a wash and go tonight on short naturally curly hair using our jojoba system alright and it's our, our lavender system featuring organic jojoba oil and I will say that now more than ever I'm using jojoba in combination with like the vanilla berry because y'all know vanilla berry is my favorite 
Um, but Zuri kind of favors like that jojoba oil, particularly um, when we're using it on his skin. So hey, Letitia, I love the love the love in the live. I can just feel the fact that y'all miss me. I'm gonna try not to take too long of a break next time. I know you guys want me on the live. Um, but yeah, so I, I tend to start using the vanilla berry um, almost every every time I do my wash and go, and then I'll switch it out for the lavender. Those are like my top two as well. So now that we've got the shampoo applied, I know the, the most important thing for me is to get that scalp. How are you doing, uh, how are you going about that right now? So I take it and put it in my hands and I emulsify. That's just to kind of spread it about and get it uh, pliable so that I can put it in the hair that I need to. And I do go directly to the scalp and kind of work it out down through the hair. Um, they both need cleansing, but a lot of times people can just put it only on the hair. Your scalp has excretory properties like the rest of your skin. So all those toxins, all those hormones that you're not using, all of that, um, the dirt from your body on the inside is coming out through these pores. And so you want to go in and lift that and get that off the scalp so that you can have a clean canvas to style. All right. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Stephanie. Welcome to Wash and Go Wednesday. I appreciate Stephanie. She said, you know what? I'm going to just tag somebody, but I can't win. Y'all go ahead and win for me. Oh, and then we had a, a really cool thing. Yolanda, she said that shampoo looks very moisturizing. And that's because it is. One of the cool things about the way that we formulate our products is that we want to make sure that everything is as moisturizing as possible. That's the number one thing uh, when it comes to styling our hair is that you need that moisture. Um, and our key ingredient in our shampoo is that it is chock full of aloe vera, right? And that is great, great, great for your hair and helping retain moisture. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and announce our giveaway because I feel like we got a really cool winner right here. So the first winner uh, tonight is Letitia Booth. Hey, Letitia. I don't know. I've always made, I was going to come back and forth with that. Is it Letitia? Letitia, let me know. Give me that phonetic spelling in the comments. But Letitia, Letitia, you are our winner. Letitia Booth, she is a OG, triple OG. She's been here since... Probably the beginning. I feel like I've seen her name all the time. Um, and while, and you know what? Let's just jump right into that second video. Because like I said, we'll be giving away the lavender wash and go system all night long. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's get started on that second one. And this one is going to be near and dear to my heart because today is a very, very special day. Um, if you guys know why today is a very special day uh, for Curl Mix, let me know in the comments and the first correct answer I see. Remember, it might not be the first correct answer that's posted, but the first correct answer I see is the one who will be the winner. All right, and shout out to all the first timers who are joining us. I see Jackie, she's uh, shouting you guys out too. Um, and I love all the love you guys are giving to Letitia. Um, everybody who's saying congratulations. If you're enjoying your time here, let me see some hearts on that live as well. So. Are you going through um, one or two washes? I didn't mean to ask that because I started recently just kind of cutting down to one wash when I do my very, very short hair. Um, but what do you normally prefer for someone who has short hair? Um, so like our model with short hair, again, it depends on lifestyle. And so if she had recently cleansed, let's say two days ago, uh, we may only need to do one um, because she hasn't lived through life a whole lot and it's not very dirty. Um, and we don't want to over cleanse. And yes, that's a thing. Um, but what we're doing here is two because like we mentioned earlier, she goes to the gym and works out and has a life, a whole life that she's living. <laughs> and what we want to do is not think that we're cleansing the hair, but we're not cleansing it enough. That will affect how it behaves and how hydrated it is. So this is our second one. And even though it's short, it's enough. It's still some hair there. Tim, you washing your hair? Mm-hmm. All right, just, okay. So I, I make sure I wash my hair, and I probably do it like twice a week, but um, I'm making sure I go through the whole steps. I've learned so much, you know, being the co-founder of a natural hair company, I can't even have a terrible hair, right? That's just crazy to me. Um, so I've actually started on my little hair journey. I got my TWA going. Um, I'm going to be growing my hair out for the first time, so you guys can kind of get to see the progression. Um, but enough about me. Let's do more about you guys. So. I see a few people who are posting answers. They're talking about Curl Mix's birthday. It is true. This is our birthday month. Curl Mix was founded four years ago um, on September 1st. But we've already kind of gone through all our birthday celebrations. Today, September 25th, 
is a very important day in curl mix uh, for curl mix, uh, mostly because of Kim. I'll give you one little clue because the people are kind of all over the place. So I'm going to try to steer you in the right direction here. Um, but it's a special day for Kim uh, in particular. So hopefully we'll, that'll help you guys out. Uh, but yeah, Stephanie, is, she said, I can't wait to see the finished look. Yes, I'm excited too. It's very rare that you see like these curly hair brands posting short curly hair because everybody wants those big flowing locks. But that's just not everybody's journey, right? Um, it's cool to be aspirational, but we want to be real. All right, and so I see we got the right answer. Let's see who it is. It is, oh, this person said they can't win. I love the honor in you guys' uh, answer. <laughs> Let's just go to the next person. Yolanda Robinson. Yolanda Robinson, you are our winner. Today, September 25th, is Kim's birthday. So I know she couldn't be here. She's actually somewhere, somewhere off working, which is typical for Kim. But she is having a blast. Kim is turning, I won't tell you. But she's still young, right? She's definitely super, super young. It is her birthday. We are super excited. Um, and then to, for uh, Yolanda, you are going to win. Let me pull it out again so you guys can see our lavender wash and go system so that's step one through four of the lab of our lavender wash and go system that shampoo conditioner moisturizer and gel completely free congratulations yolanda and while y'all are at it drop a like and a happy birthday for kim i'm telling she's on the she's in the comments somewhere uh creeping around um and also curl mix uh our customer service team is on there as well so if you guys have questions after you drop your happy birthday uh, we'll start looking at those and we'll get to those um, as we go through all of our steps. But right now, let's check back in on our step number two, which is conditioning. So, so you've already rinsed out the shampoo. Um, do you rinse, do you, do you kind of look for a certain kind of feel to know that all the shampoo is out? Or what's, what's the kind of point where you're like, okay, now I can apply the conditioner? So clean hair has a very specific feel to it. And so I want to make sure that I'm not feeling any residue or leftover product or buildup from before I put the shampoo on. So I rinse and I fill again and that's kind of what we did between uh, the first and second shampoo. And so now I'm putting the conditioner on top because I felt that it was rinsed thoroughly enough. Alright, and then one of the things that we like that conditioner on for a little bit of time to kind of get a, a mini deep conditioning effect. Maybe it's like a shallow condition. Uh, I'm not sure what we would call it. But um, is there also something that you would suggest when people do like short hair um, and they decondition versus like longer hair? Um, is there like a time difference, technique difference, anything? Um, time difference maybe. Um, you don't have as much hair that needs to kind of have product sitting on it. You can just do everything kind of quicker. Um, the cleanse, mm -hmm. the condition, all of it. And so other than that, um, it's a great way to get more moisture in to um, leave those emollients and things on the hair um, so that it is pliable and doing what you need it to do. That's really cool. And so one of the uh, also things I've just noticed is that you're not sectioning like at all. Mm -hmm. And so normally we say like divide and conquer, especially if you have longer hair, the more sections we find, the more defined people end up getting. Um, but for short hair, you really, are, you don't have to section or is it just something that's like a, a technique choice? Yeah, it's definitely a preference. If you want to put a clip in and kind of separate this and go through little by little to be really thorough, have at it. It's definitely a choice. It's not a necessity at all to have to section, especially when you get to these shorter parts right here that are kind of like in their own space. They're not over here. Like long hair can kind of be all laid on top of each other. Here we're able to kind of move through, through more freely. Right, and then the people in the comments are absolutely loving your hair, Jamila. They say, like, oh my God, her hair is beautiful. It's super shiny. And it's just a shampoo phase. Wow. Like people are, the curls are popping. Like they're loving it. And it's looking amazing. One of the other um, things I always like was, was thinking about, especially when we do Kim's hair, is that since she has a lot longer hair, you tend to get a larger bunch of shed hairs. So I kind of see you kind of finger detangling through. Um, would you use a tool or is finger detangling okay for this kind of length of hair? 
Uh, so what you need to do really depends on your density. And so if you have density is just the number of follicles that are active per square inch on your head. And so here, uh, our Jamila is not super dense. I would say she is medium density. Um, and so what that allows us to do is if we want, we can go through here and section and we can use a tool, but we don't have to. Um, because we would not expect a whole lot of shed hair to come out of here. And so it's really a preference thing. I am actually going to go through with the brush just because I like to be thorough and I want to make sure that there's, if there's any shed hairs hiding around in here that I get them. All right, awesome. And before we get started on that like deep detangling phase, I want to make sure that we get to another giveaway. Because like, like if y'all know me, you know I love giving away products. Um, and like I said, we're giving away full systems tonight for the entire night. So I wanna make sure you guys get uh, every opportunity you can to win your Curl Mix products. All right, and so one of the cool things um, about our system, our four-step system, is it kinda takes all the guesswork out of it, um, and people end up having a much more pleasant experience um, once everything is kinda laid out for you, the products go easily through those phases. And so I want you to let us know um, why you love Chromix? Like, what's been your experience with our step one through four and our, our wash and go system, and why do you love it? So, a bunch of Chromixers are here on the live. I want to hear your story. Um, maybe the new folks can't really participate in this one, um, but I see a few people are already kind of looking ahead. They're like, "Do the numbers, Tim. We're gonna get to the numbers." Like, I know I have a a, a thing with the numbers, but I promised Kim I would do the numbers tonight. Uh, and so I'm not uphold my promise, but it's going to be at the end. We're going to hold out on that as long as I can. Um, but yeah, let us know why you love Curl Mix. Um, and I'm going to select two winners. I'm going to give it to two people, right? Uh, normally Kim would pick and I would pick, but I'm going to just give it to two people. Um, so everybody gets a chance to win. Uh, Dorothy, she said, if you don't do it, you're going to get in trouble. Y'all know it. Listen. I'm a co-founder. I'll be fine. I'm okay. Numbers are no numbers. I'm good. But thank you for your concern. Um, <laughs> Tawanda, she said, I've never tried it, but I would love to, though. You can. To na na from now until midnight is the perfect opportunity to give Curl Mix a try. Like, if you haven't tried it, because if you use that code in the description, WGWSEP25, you can save 20% off on your entire order from CurlMix.com. And if you spend enough, you can get free shipping as well, all right? And so there's a lot of opportunity here. For those who are new, you can either win it tonight or buy it tonight. But either way, you're going to get an amazing deal. All right. And then Marilyn, she said the trivia is cool too. You know, I am a huge trivia buff. That is my preference. I kind of want y'all to do a little bit of work, you know, earn the, those free products. But I'm perfectly fine with doing numbers and making it random and then getting yelled at in the comments later. All right. So let's move on to the detangling. So uh, normally Kim is kind of, she's already had it like sectioned out. And she's going to like break through, get all those tangles out, those single strand knots, all that shit here. And then she's going to twist it up. But we probably don't have to do any of those kind of things here. Um, so what are you kind of looking for what, uh, as you pass through with that detangling brush? I'm looking to be able to pass through. Just that, actually. And so where we're right here, if I come here, like over on this side, I kind of got stuck a little bit. And if I had only used my fingers, I may never have gotten that hair detangled right there. And so that's why it's always good to go back through. This is much smaller and closer together the way these teeth are than my fingers. Mm -hmm. And so they're able to get things that my fingers can't get. And so what do you think was kind of stopping you there? Is there a way to tell, like, whether it's, like, maybe you'd have, there's not enough product, or is it a knot, or is it um, shed hair? Like, is there a way to kind of tell as you pass through yeah, what's stopping you? I think you should definitely not just be raking through, but as you can see with my left hand, I'm going through as I go through with the brush. So I'm feeling for things, because if I do come across a knot, I don't want to force it out. I may have, depending on the last time that you cleanse, I may have to pull it apart with my fingers. Um, it could be a that but if I feel that it's just hair that's wanting to tangle into itself then I'm able to go back to the ends and work my way up and then once I can pass through freely I go on to the next section and I know everybody knows about those knots whether you have short hair or long hair it is no joke when that knot pulls and you get that real sharp pain you know that one tear starts to drip out real slow 
I was like, I was doing Zuri's washing the other day. He was not having a good time because he would not sit still. And I like, I kind of raked through real hard one time, and it was over with. I had to drop the brush. He was not letting me touch his hair anymore. <laughs> but that pain is deep down within all of us, and it. It's, it's something <laughs> that I hope you guys don't have to experience if you're using the right technique. That's why we do this, to avoid those you know, single tears, those sharp pains that hurt deep down in your soul. But let me just jump into the stories. So we got a few people who have told us why they love Chromis. I'm going to jump in and read a few of them. Um, and I'm going to pick a couple that I like to win those free products. So, Sheila, she said, I love Chromix because it's the only product that I found that gives me the best wash and go. I spent hundreds of dollars on products and nothing worked on my hair until Chromix. Look at that, Sheila. We are changing lives out here, y'all. Uh, Monica Fryer, she says, um, it makes my wash and go super easy with four steps. There are choices based on your desired results and you and Kim give us support and info. Results, soft to fine, bouncy curls. That's everything that you can ask for. You know what? That's going to be my winner. That's my first winner right there. I can't see the name anymore, but we'll go back and we'll make sure uh, with Chromix uh, customer service, we'll make sure you get yours. That'll be my first winner. And then let's see. I'm going to read one more. Hmm. Dorothy Lemuel. That'll be my second winner. She said, because for 60 years, I've searched for a product that allowed me to feel comfortable being natural and being vegan. This is my miracle product. I feel totally at home with Chromix. Dorothy, I'm glad you feel at home with us. We try to make it welcoming and easy for everyone. Um, and I love that story. So Dorothy, you'll be my second winner. All right, And you will go home with our Lavender Wash and Go system. And for all those folks who win tonight, I need you to do a couple things for me. Number one, take a screenshot of the end of this live. You know that one that says this live has ended. Um, and then send it to us in an email at info at chromix.com. And if I didn't catch it, don't worry. We have our customer service team going back and examining the footage, you know, doing the play-by-play, -play, and we will get you your free giveaways, I promise. All right? And so the other part I want to mention is that when you guys are um, learning about Chromix for the first time, make sure you check out our quiz. So that's Chromix.com. Right at the top, you can try out our quiz. If you are new, you don't know what product you want to go with, what's going to work best for your hair, we can make sure that we get that um, recommendation that is unique to you by taking that quiz. So if you haven't taken that quiz, um, make sure you check that out if you don't know where to go. All right, and so you are almost done detangling, right? So what's this step right here? So this is actually step three. Oh, look, I just, I just blew right past that one. I'm going to make sure I stay on point with everything. <laughs> Got to hit my marks. Yeah, I'm, I'm rusty. That's all. So yeah, we're going ahead and putting this moisturizer in here um, and making sure that it's evenly distributed. So I'm working it in similar to how I was working the uh, conditioner in. <laughs> See, Dorothy, she said, you still gonna get a wolf for giving stuff away. Nah, I'm good this time. I got it clear, Dorothy. Everything is perfect. Uh, and then Stephanie, she said, yes, look at those curls, baby. Those curls are <laughs> popping. Like, I'm actually getting jealous. I was like, I discovered that I kind of have that same kind of curl pattern. It's just real, real, real short. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to uh, eventually getting to um, Jamila's level. All right, and then I love all the people who are talking, who are giving up the props and the congratulations. Thank you guys so much for supporting all of your fellow curl mixers. Um, and then you know what? Let's go ahead and start on another giveaway because we have, as you can kind of see, we are moving through this. You know, normally when Kim is on here, her hair is thick and long and it takes like two and a half hours and y'all are with us all night long. You hear Zuri in the background crying. But tonight we are zooming through. One, because it's me, I'm more professional, you know, I gotta get through all this stuff. But then two, um, when you have short hair, it's just a, a little bit easier of a process. And that's super important, um, is that one, you go through all the steps, but you can speed that thing up a little bit. Um, that's one of the benefits. I was just talking to Kim a few days ago, and she was just like, you know what? If I didn't have to be the hair of the brand, as I call her, she would probably cut her hair really short, because she, uh, you know, her arms are getting real strong, uh, <laughs> spending all that time doing all her own wash and goes and testing products. 
Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but we are like, constantly trying to develop new things for you. There's a couple things in the works that you guys will be super, super excited to hear about. Uh, but Tim, Kim is testing things like every other day. So she probably did, did her hair like four times last week. Uh, so she is like super done. She's great to have like a vacation from that hair stuff. Alright, so um, all you have to do for this next giveaway um, is, you know what? I'm going to make you guys work for it. I'm going to make you work for it. So I saw a few people who were saying, like, let's do the numbers. Nah, that's got to wait. we got to work. All right, so we're going to do trivia. Are you guys ready for trivia? If so, let me see some likes. Let me see some hearts. Um, as, as, as I see those pop up on the screen, I know you guys are ready because I always want to make sure when I do the trivia questions, you know, people got to be paying attention. I want you to be listening, you know, listening with your whole body like I'm teaching Zuri. Eyes, ears, everything. Focus. All right, so once I start seeing those hearts and likes going, um, I'm going to start on that trivia question. And in the meantime, I'm going to read a couple comments because we've already got people posting their questions. Um, so Kimberly, she said, I'm really interested in trying these products. I'm type 4 um, and has, she has very dense hair. So like I said earlier, you should probably take the quiz. Um, but we always recommend if you feel like you're type 4 and you have very dense thick hair, um, the first thing I would go for is a vanilla berry with castor oil because um, that will give you a little bit more weight. Um, and then let's also get a, another shot of these beautiful curls just, um, just flowing. And it just, I just love the way it kind of drops back and it springs back. That's my favorite thing about curly hair is that elasticity. All right. And so without further ado, let me go ahead. I see the likes. I see the hearts. Y'all asking me just get to the question. Listen, I got it. We're here. We're ready. All right. So the question is for our, our third giveaway is how many fragrances do we offer for our wash and go systems? All right. And then also tag a friend in that answer. So you got to do two things. Tell me how many fragrances you offer and then tag a friend in that answer. And you know what? I'm going to step it up. Like the first person I see list out all the fragrances, I'll give you a bonus. So you'll be a second winner. You get a bonus, you'll get one for free uh, as well. So make sure you are also putting the number and you're tagging a friend. So that's two things. All right, so I see, I, we got a couple, let's see, we got somebody. All right, Kahara Jackson. She went real fast, she was ready. She had it like, she must have known it was coming. Kahara Jackson is the first person I saw get it correct. She's our first winner, but I'm still waiting for that person to do the bonus, right? I'm still waiting for the bonus. So a lot of people don't know. If you've been like an OG curl mixer, uh, I see a lot of people posting the five. The correct answer is actually four. It's a little bit of a trick question. You know, it's okay. I try to, I try to make it interesting. I want to make it a little bit more difficult, see if you were really, really listening. Um, so there, the correct answer is four, all right? And she tagged a friend, so she got it. Um, but we offer it in four fragrances and then there is a fragrance free option, right? So that's like zero. It is not a fragrance. So that's, that's the kind of trick there. But the correct answer is four. But we do have five lines that we are offering now. But we only offer four fragrances, all right? Dorothy is laughing. <laughs> you got the, the la crying laughing emoji, all right? Y'all oh, already see the, the Rose Crew. Rose is in the vault. It's not being offered right now. I, I know y'all are hurt. But it will be coming out eventually. As long as there's enough people supporting that rose, staying active, it will be coming out. All right, and let's see. And it looks like our second winner is Yvette Lopez. It looks like she got all four of the fragrances. Congratulations to Yvette Lopez. All right. And so I see Andre is working on the hair now in a different Kind of so let's see if we can slide this one over and we'll get another cool shot because we are done. What step are we on now? Oh, this is step four. We are done with step three. We're moving on to step four and that is that flaxseed gel. And as you can kind of see, she's going through um, and teasing out all of those curls. So we're going to get a little close up in just a second. 
Alright, and then congratulations to all my winners. There's a couple different things I want you guys to know. Um, if you haven't won, don't worry. There's still a few more giveaways to go. You still have plenty of opportunity to win. Um, but tonight, from now until midnight, everybody can be a winner because you can save 20% off using the code in the description. That's WGW September 25. WGW SCP 25. Use that code and check out on um, chromas.com. You can save 20% off your entire order. All right, and I'm sorry if I missed you in that giveaway. Remember, it's always going to be the first person I see. Facebook doesn't love everybody equally, I think. I don't know what it is. All right, but we are getting uh, a nice little close-up of all those lovely, lovely curls. So we've gone through step three. Um, the flaxseed gel is in there. It is now we're just teasing out individual curls. So what are your what are you looking to do? sorry. Ugh. What are you looking to do at this point right now? Okay, so how you set your hair depends on how you like it. And so Jamila here likes her hair to kind of have a lot of volume in the front. And so instead of setting it any which way to have it flat against the head, I had her shake mm -hmm. so that when she goes under, it'll, it's naturally how it falls. So shake again. Yeah, lean forward a little bit and shake it. Yeah, you can get it because it's gonna do what she wants it to do over time anyway, all right? <laughs> and then, so yeah, that's totally fine. It doesn't have to be to the right or to the left. It's just kind of whatever you want to do. But how you set it and how you go under that dryer is how it's gonna look. All right, and so y'all know I'm a big fan, big fan of the shake, right? So she set the curl now um, in, in where, how we want to dry it. Um, so one of the cool things we always t um, suggest um, sorry, strongly encourage is that once you finish, once you've used step one through four, don't just air dry. If you want to get the most definition, you want to get the most length retention, you should dry your hair. Um, can you talk, walk us through like the importance of drying your hair as you kind of transition over to that next phase? Okay, so the importance of drying. Uh, a lot of people complain about air drying because they say, oh, I get way too much shrinkage or whatever the case may be. One of the unique things about going under the dryer is it's kind of able to freeze that hair in place. That's what that heat does. There are bonds in the hair that are affected by water and that are affected by heat and by chemicals. So when we go under the dryer, it takes those bonds and rearranges them and that's how we set a style. Y'all know roller sets? You do not come from under that dryer and so the roller set is dry because what happens if it's still wet? It's ruined, right? You take that roller out and it's limp, right? Your set is ruined. And so you have to do it all over. And so what we're gonna do is have her go under the dryer over here and that's gonna allow her hair to set the way she wants it and hopefully get the longevity out of it that she wants. Awesome, awesome. So one of the cool things is we don't actually have to whip out that, that you know, car note Dyson. Um, a bit. We'll just use the regular dome dryer, but if you are at home, you don't have a dome dryer, you can use just a handheld blow dryer and it will be perfect for everything you need it to do um, when it comes to drying the hair. Just remember a couple cool things is that one, try to make sure you're not moving the hair and disturbing those curls. The number one thing we used to do at uh, these, we used to do trade shows and live events. We do little demonstrations and we have people try out the products and they get the curls to clump and you get all that great definition and the first thing they would do is like start pulling on it and just like pulling everything out and then the other thing is they'll shake it around and get a bunch of frizz if you are going to uh, air dry sure all that is fine you will end up with maybe a little bit more frizz than normal but the number one thing that will cause that frizz is friction all the moving uh, the rubbing up against it will disturb all those curls you just spent all that time trying to build up all right, and oh, Selene is here. She said she was late, but she is back. Selene is back. I am back. Hey, everybody. Oh, Vanetta is here as well. I didn't see Vanetta earlier. All right, so um, let's actually talk about another thing that is very, very interesting to me um, is that when you have short hair in particular, um, a lot of people say they might be worried about their hair drying out. Um, so can you talk a little bit about how you can preserve the moisture? in short hair? Sure. So when we're talking about moisture, we're talking about hydration, which is water. So it's very no normal for water over the course of the week to evaporate. That's with any given thing. And so if your hair is perpetually dry, it could be a number of factors. And that's something you may want to link with a curl artist to figure out what's actually plaguing my hair, why am I struggling with this dryness. But one of the things it could be is that you need to cleanse and condition and style more regularly. 
And so if you're going throughout the week and you're like, oh, it's, you know, feeling a little dry, we have to kind of ask ourselves, well, what is dry? Because I know that if I cleanse my hair, it's hydrated when I'm putting that water in it. That's the most hydrated it's going to be. And so if throughout the week you're like, the style isn't what I want it to be, you can reset the style. Cleanse, condition, and style. Awesome. So uh, one of the cool things is that now we have plenty of time to take all of your questions. So I see a few popping up that we're going to try to hit. Um, hey, Alicia. And make sure that you write your questions in the comments. Um, so we had a really cool one about asking about the ingredients. So they said, um, how do we fragrance um, our lavender set? Is it lavender essential oil? It's not lavender essential oil. It's a lavender fragrance oil. And so there's a the very big difference between fragrance oils and essential oils. Um, but at the end of the day, um, it, ends, it ends up um, being about the same when it comes to the fragrance um, as, as far as like the strength of the smell. Um, and so we decided to go with the fragrance oil because we preferred that smell over um, the lavender essential oil. Um, essential oils can be a little bit more powerful um, and actually lavender essential oil gives me a headache. Um, and I know there's a few people who kind of get that condition when they smell it. Um, so we decided to go with the more milder fragrance oil. All right. Um, and let's see. Nikki, she said, what brand is that dryer? You know, that is a great question, Nikki. Um, I, I can't really read it, but I know that uh, if you're looking to get a dryer, um, number one, we're actually working on getting a dryer for you guys, so you can wait for that. But if you're not willing to wait a little bit, you can just search kind of on Amazon. The number one thing you're going to look for um, is whether or not uh, it'll accomplish your goals. So say, for instance, everybody always asks us about the Dyson that Kim has. You do not need to go out and spend a car note on a hair dryer. It is not that important. Uh, we did that specifically because it's quiet, right? And we have to do washing on Wednesday. Um, but you'd be just fine with like, you know, a, a, let's say a lower end dryer. Um, so as long as it heats up and blows, like you're probably going to be fine. Um, and then if you want to do a dome dryer, we were able to find a few of them on Amazon um, with great reviews for a relatively uh, low price that you guys can try out. Um, also, Yvette, she said, have you guys uh, released that brush yet? No, the brush is on the way. We have a lot of gifts planned out for you guys. Um, so look out for that, especially if you're a subscriber. So most of the gifts will be either um, for our subscribers or for special occasions. So if you're looking for those, um, stay tuned. They are on the way. Yes, Monica, that, that Dyson dryer does cost a car note. It's like, it's like 400 some odd dollars. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, I do not recommend it unless you like absolutely need it or you know you just got money like that. But that's fine. Also, we expense it. That's a Chromex purchase. So don't even worry about it. Um, and we'll be answering a few more questions. Oh, I see Yvette. She says, I'm dying waiting for that brush. It's coming, Yvette. It's coming. Um, and Denise, she said, what setting do you use if you use heat? So that's a great question. I'm going to let Andre take that one. Okay. So what setting do you use is going to depend on a couple of things. How much time do you have? Do you have time to kind of go under the dryer and chill for 45 minutes? If you're the length or the density of your hair requires that, give it that time. If you've only got 20 minutes and then you've got to jump onto the train or you know in your car to go to work or wherever it is, give it as much time as you can to try to get that set set. And so what setting do you use it on, low or high, is going to depend. If your hair is finer, um, or lower density, you may not want to use a higher setting because one, your hair doesn't need that much to dry, that much, that high temperature. And also, if you have lower density, um, you don't want that heat directly on your scalp because it might be uncomfortable. So if you can stand the heat and you want to get under there for, you know, 25, 30 minutes and that's what your hair needs to be, you know, set 75, 80% dry or whatever it needs to be, then you do what you need to do. All right, and so I had a, a few other interesting questions that popped up. So Farrah, she asked, how long do your wash and goes last using our system? So that does depend, but we've seen people go as far as two weeks, but we always suggest um, about a week um, of normal wear and tear. But like uh, Andre said earlier, if your routine is different, if your lifestyle is different, that's definitely going to affect how long your styles last. Um, but we've seen people get, on average, about a week out of their wash and goes. Um, Kim, for almost a year, would just do all her hair for wash and go Wednesdays, 
with no issues once a week. Um, and so I want to take this time now to give do another giveaway. I know it's been too long since that last one, and we still got to get to that numbers giveaway. It's after it's after this one for those of you guys who are uh, sweating me for it. But let's do one more uh, one more challenging kind of giveaway, and then we'll get to the numbers. So if you want to win our lavender wash and go system, which is what we use for tonight's hairstyle, make sure to tag two friends and then write tonight's code in your comments. So tag two friends and write tonight's code. So that code is up in the description. Copy it and paste it, tag two friends, and I'm gonna select somebody who did that um, as our winner. So if you want to win, make sure you tag two friends and then write tonight's code in a comment. All right, so without further ado, let's get back to those questions. Um, so let's see. I saw someone ask, I think it was uh, uh, Yvette, mm -hmm. did you see it? Mm -hmm. Oh, go for it. All right, so Yvette, I can't see the question right now or the statement. I think you said you sit under the dryer for 20 minutes and then you let the rest air dry. And you asked, is that good? It is totally preference. Some people do not like to sit under the dryer. They don't own a dryer. They're not gonna go buy a dryer. And that's totally fine if you like your air dry results. So if you are okay with the results that you get for sitting under 20 minutes and then air drying the rest, you're good to go. There is no standard for what it needs to look like for you when it comes to how long you should stay under. You know, I actually don't use a dryer either when I do my hair or when I do Zuri's hair. Like, I'm completely fine with shrinkage. Like, shrinkage doesn't affect me because I've always had short hair, right? Um, but the number one thing I kind of started to do was even even after like I know that my hair is wet like I'll at the very least do a couple shakes get most of that dry hair off um, and then I saw somebody ask about how to get curl retention um, used as, as you do your routine and overnight right so one of the cool things is I still have small enough hair to do like a wave cap or a do-rag I don't think it's gonna last very long but if you guys have been watching Washington Go Wednesday you know I'm a big fan of the satin bonnet like that's my number one thing i love bonnets kim i was like yo how do i look in this bonnet like i don't look cute it's like bonnets are sexy i don't know if i don't know if maybe it's just me but bonnets are super super cute um so i always suggest using a satin bonnet or a silk bonnet um and if you want to go super fancy you can go the whole like satin sheets and pillowcase and be sliding around your bed um but those are all great options to eliminate kind of the frizz and the the loss of moisture um, that you might get if you're using something that's like cotton or just sleeping directly on a pillowcase. You want to make sure you're protecting those curls. You work hard for them. Protect them. All right, and then we had another, we had a few people um, already starting to participate in that last giveaway. And just a quick reminder, if you want to win that Lavender Wash and Go system, make sure you tag two friends and then write tonight's code in your comments. So that code is up in the, up in the description. I won't say it now. I feel like that might be helping too many people. Um, so let's see, and I'll select someone who, uh, who completes that challenge, and it'll just kind of be random, all right? So, yes, let's see, we'll get to a couple more questions as well. Oh, Yvette, she said, I use a silk pillowcase and a bonnet with pineapple ponytail. So Yvette is like super protected, like them curls aren't going anywhere. Yvette has tripled the protection, <laughs> triple the protection. I suggest using Yvette's method if you, if you are like die hard for those curls all right and so i'm gonna go ahead and select the winner because this looks like a name i have not seen before marissa alexander marissa alexander congratulations you are our winner so you'll go home with our lavender wash and go system all right so for marissa and anyone else who won tonight i need you to do a couple things for me number one take a screenshot of the end of this live and then number two, send that screenshot to us in an email at, to info at curlmix.com. Along with your name and address, claim that prize, and you guys will be all set. We'll get it out to you ASAP. So congratulations to all our winners. Our next giveaway will be the numbers giveaway, right? So if you're ready for the numbers giveaway, let me see some likes. We'll just do thumbs up. So if you guys are ready, because I know y'all got to be on your P's and Q's and be waiting right there on the keyboard for the numbers giveaway so I want to give everybody a fair shot I don't want this one uh, going awry like all the other ones I have done have been like I'm, I'm telling you 
I got like PTSD from numbers giveaways. But we're going to do it. All right? So get ready. And in the meantime, let's see. We have a few more people asking questions. She's, uh, oh, Yvette is saying, yeah, I needed to... She, Yvette, with her triple protection, she said I needed to do it because my hair was recovering from flat iron damage. Um, and she had to do a big chop. So now she is protecting it as much as she can. You know, Yvette, that's just like how everybody's story. It's like, you know, I messed up in the past, but I'm not ever going back to where I was. You know, I turned over a new leaf. She fell down, but she got up. All that good stuff. Um, so, uh, Caprice, she said, I like the new setup. Thank you, Caprice. We work really, really hard here at Chromix to make the experience as great as possible for you guys. And shout out to some of my fans. Uh, hey, um, Marina and Letitia, they said, oh, he said he had PTSD. I do. I'm so scared of the numbers giveaways, but you know what? I'm going to push through for you guys. So I don't see any questions right now, so I'm going to just jump right into it. I have the number written down. So I, I make sure we, I don't have to ask Kim this time and like double check. I'm not going to forget. So I'm going to eliminate that one off the bat. The number is written down. I can see it and I am ready. So I'm going to count down from five and then I'm going to let you guys start giving out your number. So the numbers giveaway is from a random number, one to 100. The first person that I see, I'm not going to do the first person, but the first person that I see post the correct number will win this giveaway. Are you guys ready? I see the I see the likes going. So let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Have at it. Alright, and feel free. It's one number per comment. I remember the last time somebody posted like all the numbers <laughs> one through twenty in a comment and like that you are disqualified. You cannot win if you do that. One number per comment oh and right away see this one was easy marla wilson you saved me marla because she got it like first try marla wilson uh got it the number was 77. you john just like hopped up he was excited it was on, it was super super fast marla you saved me the number was 77 and marla you are our winner congratulations y'all can stop posting those numbers thank you thank you for everybody who participated this one went off real smooth. If everyone was like this, I would do it. I would do it with no fear. But you know, it don't always be like that. All right, so let's check back in really quick with Andra and see what's going on with Jamila's hair. Congratulations, Marla Wilson. Make sure you get that screenshot going and send it to us to info at chromas.com. Marla's excited, y'all. She's like, "Yes, Lord, Marla, we appreciate you. Thank you for participating. I love the people who are giving love to Marla." Heidi, it's okay. There are more giveaways, Heidi. It's our, you can win again. There's more, I promise you. All right, so what are, what's up now? So we are about, I want to say, 10 minutes or so into the drying phase. Mm -hmm. Do you kind of like check or do you just kind of leave it now? Is there like a set number or amount of time that you're looking for? Yeah, so it, again, depends on how much time you have. Since we're here and we're kind of going through real smoothly with our steps, I'm giving her the maximum amount of time. Um, and I'm going to check in about five minutes. So that'll be about 15 minutes in. That might be enough for her length and her density, but we'll check it. And if it's still damp, she can go back under um, and then come out again once she's where she needs to be. Because we don't want to go to bed on wet hair. So what happens if you go to bed with wet hair? So say, for instance, you got your bonnet on, like you, you think you're doing the right thing, but your hair is still a little bit wet. What can happen there? Okay. so. If your hair is still wet, okay, I'm going to be honest, transparent. I have gone to bed on wet hair. Me too. Okay? I'm going to be honest. Can't lie. I can't lie. Um, but I did something very specific. I used a specific type of head wrap that put my hair in a way that it would not be disrupted while I slept. And then in the morning, I would take it down and then let it air dry. But before any of that, to go on to bed on wet hair is damp hair. Not like I got the shower and got to bed. Right? That's just, that's not going to work. Yeah, you would also probably ruin your pillows. <laughs> I mean, it's just, you might as well sleep in the tub. Like, and so we don't want to completely destroy the set. If it's wet and it's not dry at all, it's it's not been set in place. And so one thing that can happen is you can get friction up against that hair and you don't want that. Um, yeah, so you want it to kind of be stuck in place. And we know that if we dry it, it'll have a better time of staying in place than if it's wet, kind of moving around and sitting in the yeah, and then on top of that, a lot of people don't realize that anytime you're going to use like a gel 
you're gonna have a cast. You're gonna have some hold that you're trying to maintain in order to keep that style. So if you think about like setting that cast on that product and keeping your curl definition, if you're going to bed with wet hair, wet hair and you're moving around, that friction is kind of breaking up that cast and killing your definition. So that's the other part of it. It's just kind of like taking steps backwards. Um, and I, I know a lot of people are saying, yes, damp is more like it, not wet. But I will say, like, if you have really, really dense hair, especially with Kim, like, air drying is probably, like, not an option for you. Because I, I promise you, I've seen her hair take longer than 24 hours to get completely dry. Like, she did her hair on, on Wednesday night uh, while we were traveling. And then on Friday morning, like, I woke up, I was like, touching it. I was like, oh, my God, that, there's no way that there's, your hair is still wet. But at the roots, it was still damp. Like, it can take that long, especially if you have dense hair. So using a heating, uh, a heating tool can really, really help. And we always talk about um, the right kind of heating tool. You want to do indirect heat, not direct heat, right? Indirect heat, uh, meaning it hits another medium before it actually touches your hair. So not like a flat iron or a hot comb, but a hair dryer. Um, as, and then uh, also Marilyn hit on a great point. You can begin to grow bacteria and mold in your hair over time if it's going to be consistently wet. And those are no-no. Absolute no-no. All right. <laughs> so Yvette, she said, oh my God, that's me, LOL. And sometimes the inside of her scalp area is still wet. Like, I, I really thought Kim was lying when she said it, took, it can take two days. I was like, there's no way. That's not like... It's not possible. It didn't register with me um, until I actually felt it for myself. Uh, let's see, Capri, she said that, had, that happened before too. Uh, her roots like to hold on to water and she learned it the hard way. Uh, <laughs> Marla, she said that is some low porosity hair. Yes, it is. All right, and so um, another, Sandra mentioned something really interesting too. She said if her hair is damp, her head will itch. Is that something that you're familiar with? Um, so yeah, that's something that I've experienced. I can't say it's anything other than I don't like my scalp to be wet. Um, so I don't know if you, it's uncomfortable. And a lot of people will experience this if they sweat in their scalp a lot. Especially if you're coming like from a workout or from the gym and it's like you're scratching a lot and things like that. Because remember there's um, sebum coming out of that scalp too. And so it could be that it's time to cleanse again. Alright, so I see Marissa out <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> if that's it, it's hashtag true. Hashtag. All right, so we have a couple more giveaways of really, really important giveaways. Um, and these will kind of be the last ones of the night. I will do the first, the last product giveaway, and then we have a very special um, t shirt giveaway um, as we check in on that dry hair. So if you, you want to win this last wash and go system, I need you to tell us a story. So for those of you who have that short hair or you're going through your TWA phase, I want you to tell us what you love about your short, naturally curly hair. So I'm looking for a really nice story. Um, I know that everybody's kind of going through that journey, especially if you big chop, you've probably dealt with some short hair. Um, and I know Kim has a preference for it. So I want to know what you love about your TWA or your short hair. Um, and then I'm going to pick at least one winner. I'm going to pick at least one winner um, while we answer some questions. All right, uh, Capri Sam, she said, this is my first time catching your new lives and there are no more showers. Yes, we've stepped up our game. We're not in our house in our shower anymore, um, but we still recommend that you do your wash and go in the shower. That's the one way we know that you can make sure you're getting enough water into your hair, All right? So make sure you're starting your wash and goes in the shower if you are doing it at home unless you just so happen to have a wash bowl. Like if you have a wash bowl at your house, I can't tell you nothing. You are, you, you're way ahead of the curve. All right, um, let's see, Lori, she said, my hair is really short and after I use the product, um, it dries and it's hard. Am I using too much product? That's a great question, Lori. Um, it depends, you might be using too much product, you might not be using um, too much water. I'm sorry, you might not, might not be using enough water. All right, so if you are find that your hair is drying really hard, um, and one thing I would also ask is, are you air drying or are you using like a hair dryer? But experiment around with it. We always say start with like a dime size amount and then work your way up. If you feel like you're using too much product, that's a really, really easy fix, a really, really easy test. 
but I always suggest adding more water first. So making sure your hair is soaking wet before you apply products. All right. Uh, let's see. So let's get to some of these short hair stories. They are rolling through. I feel like everybody has a short hair story. Um, they're moving really, really fast. Let me try to get at least one. So Marilyn, she said, my aunt permed my hair and I cried because I love my curly hair. But I realized all I had to do was cut it off and I get it back. Um, I get so many compliments on my wash and go. Um, so I am the number one brand ambassador for Chromix. Marilyn Barber does an amazing, amazing job, like standing for curl mix. We love, love, love Marilyn. All right, um, thank you so much for that story. Uh, Capri, she said, I love the fact that my hair has learned its curl pattern. I love all the compliments I get, and I appreciate the ease of the wash and go. All right, and I missed the second half of that question. Um, and then Yvette, she said that after a big chop, I can now take care of it, and it's easier to do a wash and go quickly. Um, she said, no, I can't win again. But for me, that's what I love about her short hair. Yeah, thank you so much, Yvette, for sharing your story. Let's see, Angel, she said, I love my short curly hair for many reasons, but it does take a queen with confidence to wear short hair. You know, I think um, I really, really love this, the, watching Kim's journey, like as she went from her big chop, and I don't know if y'all know this, if y'all were here on our Monday, like story time, we went live on Monday, told the, the whole story about how we got started with Curl Mix. But if y'all don't know this, I did Kim's Big Chop. Um, she was just completely done with the perm hair. We were like sitting in her dorm at like 10 o'clock at night and she was like, I'm done. She had like alopecia. She was losing her edges. She was like, let's just get rid of it. Uh, we had like some arts and crafts scissors. Um, and I was super reluctant. I was like, I don't want to do this. Like, you should go to a professional. I'm not a professional. Like, I don't want to get, you know, blamed for this. But she was like, just cut it out. And I was like, okay, I'll do it, but you got to take the first cut. So she like grabbed a chunk and cut it. And I was like, okay, I'll do the rest. It was a good, it was good. It wasn't my best work. It was a little <laughs> short on one side, but it, it got the job done. And she looked fabulous throughout her entire TWA phase. And I will say her confidence level um, definitely shifted as her kind of identity around her hair changed as well. So going from perm to being natural um, made a lot of positive changes in her life. And I just love seeing her journey. So I know exactly what you're talking about when I say it, when you say it takes that confidence. I feel like it kind of builds up over time. Uh, but it was great seeing that transition. Oh, and LaVeda has a good story. And I want to make sure I get to LaVeda because I'm going to make LaVeda Ferguson my winner. She said, I went through the journey because my sister was diagnosed with cancer. She lost her hair, and I didn't want her to feel alone, so I cut all of mine off. LaVeda, that is amazing. I can't believe you love your sister that much to cut off your hair. Like, you know, I love my sister, but... No, I'm just playing. LaVeda, thank you so much. That is an amazing story of empathy and love for your sister. Like, I just want to celebrate that, LaVeda, so you will be my winner. So you can go home with our, um, our lavender wash and go system. That's the complete one through four. Uh, step, each step is that shampoo, um, shampoo, conditioner, moisturizer, and gel. You will get it completely free. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the end of this live um, and send that to us at info at chromis.com. We will get it sent out to you ASAP. But thank you so much for everybody who told their story, Levada. That was amazing. And we're glad that we can kind of have something to do with that journey as well. Uh, Levada, thank you so much. But let's check back in. Um, with our lovely model and see how that hair is going because I don't know if y'all can see it uh, but those curls are popping. Let's see how is it how's it looking? Are we dry yet? So we're not completely dry but you can actually go ahead and stand up and do a 360 because this Ooh. is what that set is going to look like once it's completely dry. So you can come right over here. Center stage. <laughs> Step up just a little bit. Yep. Nice and close and then 360. You kind of walk yeah. us through, like, I see what you mean when you said it falls, how it falls naturally is mm -hmm. how you want it to sit. Yeah. And so what she's going to do, the, the tapered part is really short and it's curling right up. And so there's not much she's going to need to do. Here is where she's going to be able to kind of have her fun. That's what we call this section, the fun <laughs> section. And so if she wants, she can let it be, you know, naturally get its volume throughout the week. Or she can go ahead and once it's completely dry, um, go ahead and fluff it out and make it funky and move it where she wants it to go and pin it or whatever she's got going on. And so, yeah, it's really that simple. That is awesome. 
So one of the cool things I, I love to see is that, one, you have an amazing shape to your hair. So what kind of led you to um, getting the taper cut versus kind of keeping it even all the way around? Um, Sorry to put you on the spot. Yeah, you, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Just take your time. Um, no, I had a kid. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, my son is seven months. And, um, Congratulations. I, well, thank you. I cut it right before I found out I was pregnant. And in that process, um, it started to grow. And the more it grew, the shorter I wanted it. <laughs> and, and since he's been here, I, I just it's just a lot easier. Um, I'm, I, I battle with like growing it back out, but I really like it short. It's really convenient. It just kind of works. Awesome. Can we yeah. see another 360? We're going to do the fake slow motion too. Like just take your time, glide through it. Let everybody see all the curls, all the details because it looks amazing. And I would say that I feel like that's super, super common amongst the people who like go years and years with short hair. It's like it's super convenient. I, I get it. I really, I realize like I don't make much of an effort or nowhere near the amount of effort that Kim does with my hair. It's like, oh, you know, go to the barber shop. And then you know, wash it, and we'll be done. But uh, it looks amazing. Yes. It smells really good too. <laughs> oh yeah, the smell, <laughs> smell is amazing. Particularly if you love floral scents, lavender is like is super super popular. All right. So what I want to do next is, after, if you guys see all those amazing results, um, we're gonna make sure we get you back under the dryer to complete that process. All right, you're all set. You can go back into the dryer. Okay. And then I want to start our next giveaway. This will be our last giveaway of the night. And this one is near and dear to my heart because it's for curl mixers only. Yeah, Stephanie, she said, yes, honey, those curls are popping. She said, uh, K Price, she said, it's absolutely gorgeous. Marla said, your hair is fabulous. She got the hearts going. Marge said, one word, wow. She's blown away, right? Um, and then Marina, she said, oh, I want that cut in style. Marina, just go for it. Just, I'll ask you one thing. If you change your hair, if you style it in a different Marina, just take a picture and post it in curl mixers only. All right, so this last giveaway is for curl mixers only. So if you are participating in the number one curly hair community on the internet, that is curl mixers only. It is our private invite only Facebook group for Curl Mix customers and it's, it, when I tell you guys the experiences that people have on Curl Mixers Only are life changing, I am I'm not inflating that at all. Curl Mixers Only is a collective of all those folks who have purchased Curl Mix, who want to share their journey together, who want to give tips and tricks and, and just make sure that you're encouraging all, the, all those other women going through that same curly hair journey, trying out a new brand like us. Um, and the number one thing is that you also get unprecedented access to us as a company. So we are in Curl Mixers only all day, every day, answering your questions, um, answering comments, giving you love on your pictures, giving you tips and tricks, and also getting you involved in the brand. So our, our key to our success here at Curl Mix is that we listen to our customers. So we are always taking any kind of problem, any kind of changes that we're having at Curl Mix, we always bring it to you guys first. And so Curl Mixers have done just about everything for us. They've chosen the products we're gonna make, they've chosen fragrances, they've picked packaging, they've picked like colors and labels. As you participate in Curl Mixers only, you have a way to influence Curl Mix as a brand moving forward. And I don't know of any other brand that does that kind of like involvement with our customers. And like Free said, I love the system. Well, the system came out of Curl Mixers only. You guys wanted us to launch the flaxseed gel. We launched the flaxseed gel. You guys wanted that moisturizer. We made a moisturizer that you love. And you guys also begged and begged for that shampoo and conditioner. And so we finally, finally got it. Um, so everything that you kind of see us become as a brand is from you all as customers. And like Stephanie Smith said, our Curl Mix customer service is the bomb, the best customer service team ever. All right, so without further ado, I will be giving away a special gift. The only way to get this one for free is to win it here. This is a Curl Mix t-shirt. So normally you might have to pay for it online. It used to be that you couldn't get it anywhere, 
Like we, we finally got enough peer pressure, actually in Chromis's only, for people to buy, be able to buy the shirt. And we finally put it up for sale on the website. But if you want to win your Chromix t-shirt and earn it, um, you can win right now. And it's just for those who participate in Chromix only. So if you guys are ready, let me see some hearts. And I'm going to go ahead and announce how you guys can win. Because i got to do a countdown for this one. Because everybody is always really, really ready and hyped up for this. And they start posting answers early. Um, so I want to make sure I do this as fair as possible. So if you guys are ready, let me see some hearts. And as soon as I see the hearts going, I'll do the countdown. All right, so Marla is ready. She got hearts on the screen and she got hearts in the comments. Um, Stephanie, she said, "Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I love the I love the love." Um, ooh, Ferris, she said, "I'm convinced. I think I'll give it a try on my TWA." Thank you so much for trying out, Farah. Thank you for trying Curl Mix. Remember, use that code WGW SEP25 in the description. You can save 20% off your entire order. So now is the perfect time to try it. All right, so I see the hearts going. Everybody is telling me to get started, so let's do this. I'm going to count down from 10, and then I'm going to say the question, and the first correct answer I see will win that last, will win that Chromix t-shirt. You guys are ready? Let's do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What product is featured on the flyer in the cover of the Facebook group. There is a cover on the Facebook group right up at the top. What product is featured on that cover? All right, it's right there in the bottom right corner. The first correct answer I see will win the Curl Mix t-shirt. See, Marilyn, she had the wrong answer like ready. She said water. It's not water. It is a specific bottle of product I'm looking for. Marilyn had water like ready. She had it like saved up. Um, <laughs> It is a gel. I see a gel, but I need to get a little bit more specific. It's a gel. That's just that's a little bit too too. Uh, let's see, too um, generic. I'm looking for the specific gel on that cover image. So I know you saw it. If you just say gel, if you just say moisturizer. That's like one out of six. That's a good guess. Let me know what gel it is. All right. So that's already a little one. And it looks like we have a winner. I, Selene, you are our winner. I know Selene wins all the time, but if Selene, if you are eligible, you have won our Curl Mix t-shirt. So congratulations, Selene. You're the first person I saw with the correct answer. I don't know if you're eligible, because Selene, I feel like Selene wins like every other week. So she is always on it with her giveaway. She is ready all, every week, all the time. But if you are eligible, congratulations, Selene. I already know you know what to do. And I'm pretty sure you have a Chrome Mix t-shirt. Like I know, I know Selene has a Chrome Mix t-shirt. Uh, so feel free to hand it off to a friend. Um, maybe even in the Chrome Mixers only group, you can give it away there. But Selene, you know what to do. Congratulations. And thank you to all those folks who participated in Wash and Go Wednesday tonight. I had a ton of fun first day back. I might have been a little rusty. But we made it all the way through. The numbers giveaway went smooth. So I'm happy. I'll go to sleep um, and rest easy. Um, but thank you for all those folks who participated. We love the support that you give to Curl Mix. And we hope you give, a, give us a shot if you haven't already. Using that code in the description, WGW, September 25th. Because if you didn't win, you can still be a winner because you get a huge deal. All right? And so before we go, let's see the final look. I see Kim. She's checking me on it. She's, She's making sure we get it done. I have it in the notes. Final look. Let's do it. Let's check out the final look. Then we gave it a bit more time, uh, and now that should be mostly set. If you have to give it a guess, like at what percentage dryness is it right now? Um, honestly, I would say about 75%. 75? All right. So we can take a little bit more time, but I love that that definition is already there. It is amazing. Do washing girls normally look like this? Mine? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you're happy. Uh, I'm hoping, I, I hope you love it. That's what Chromex is here for. I do. It's yeah. a lot lighter than what it normally feels like. Mm -hmm. um, and I do feel like like in a couple days it's going to be like real good and fun up in the fun okay, section. Okay, fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
this. <laughs> and I'm like loving this one, the crown section. So normally, like even me, I have like all problems with my crown. It just does not get any definition. But you have like a ton of really great curls in that crown. So I'm loving it. Do you mind like showing the people the crown one more time? We'll go real slow back the other way, real smooth, we'll glide. You know, she's beauty and she's grace. <laughs> she's Miss United States. <laughs> Uh, and then everybody said, it is adorable. I said, oh, you look so happy. And then she said, I love the defined curl. Um, they want to see the close-up. We're, we're trying to get it a little slower. Um, and then Caprice, yes, definitely check us out on the replay. Um, if you are watching the replay for the first time, just go ahead and write replay. All right. So we're going up. It looks like it is working. And for all those folks who have... Um, Step a little bit closer. Yeah. Go, actually, yeah, we'll do another another 360 real close. But for all those folks who spent some time with us tonight, make sure you say happy birthday to our amazing founder and CEO, Kim Lewis. She's not here tonight, but uh, she is in the comments, so she is reading everything. If you feel free to wish her a happy birthday. Um, I'm not going to say her age because I think, what, is this a rule about women? You don't say the age, even though she's super young. <laughs> She got nothing to worry about. All right. And then Stephanie says, she said, I love how that one curl is saying what's up. I, you know, I kind of been thinking, I've been getting like Clark Kent Superman vibes, you know? It's like that one curl let her know that she got superpowers. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you so much, Jamila. Your hair looks amazing. Thank you. Thank it you so great. much, Andra. Uh, give, a, give everybody all the support and love you can. Check out Andre Renee at Hair Cousin. Um, and like I said, use that code in the description. Save some money, get a great deal. And thank you for participating. You guys have a lovely evening. And thank you for watching Washington Wednesday. We'll see you next week.